Hello and welcome. My name is Andrei Schlepphorst. I would like to explain to you the simple installation of Vineo 1000 in conjunction with our Silent Comfort underlay mat on which the Vineo 1000 flooring will be installed afterwards. We have to bear a few things in mind, for example the subfloor, which must be permanently dry, even, clean and load-bearing. That's why it's essential that I do an evenness test. A tolerance of 3 mm over 1 meter is acceptable. I've already prepared the subfloor, it's sanded and vacuumed, and we can now start with the silent comfort. What in particular needs to be kept in mind when installing silent comfort? When rolling out the strip, it should not curve up against the wall. I also need to install the mat at an angle of 90 degrees to the top surface being installed. That is quite easy. The product is rolled out. Cut the roll roughly to length already and then cut it to fit exactly. I leave a gap of 0.5 to 1 centimeter to the wall. At this point, it's important to make sure that the adjoining mat or the following mat does not overlap place loose and easy in front of the previous strip. Before the installation process, the materials have to have acclimatized approximately 24 hours beforehand. That means either in the room where I'm installing them, or at the same temperature. Important information about the acclimatization process, please store the materials dry and lying flat. Make sure that the film on the packaging does not simultaneously act as a form of moisture protection. Another advantage of the floating installation used with Vineo 1000 is that hardly any tools are used. This means that there's no dust and therefore no noise either. We need a knife with a trapezoidal blade, a square, in order of course to also ensure that the cutting is straight, and to install our end joint, a white rubber hammer. Before you start with the installation process, take a couple of minutes and have another close look at the installation instructions. Before installation, unpack several packs and divide them into several piles. This also ensures that the packs are mixed together. Right at the start, we talked about silent comfort, which we have now laid out and prepared. Before I start with installation, it's important that I pull the film off only in the length of my arm. I pull the film at one corner and put it off an arm's length. The whole process is carried out on the complete length of the row being installed. Why not pull off the film completely? There's a critical reason for this. When I pull the film off, I have a slight sticky surface, and if I tread on it with my shoes, I could fold a corner over with my shoe. This would make the mat stick together, and I could have problems unsticking it. Now we have come to the actual installation of Vineo 1000. Before I start, I observe the room. I determine the direction of installation towards light, in other words, the long side faces the highest incidence of light. In the regel is es so, dass 
I start in the left-hand corner of the room with a full panel. I make sure that I leave a gap to the wall of at least the material thickness, in other words, at least 5 mm. Then I install the second panel in the second row. It's important here that I offset the ends by at least 25 to 30 centimeters. If I continue the second row with a full panel, it would not look as nice and also the connection would not have the stability that it's supposed to give. I take the knife with the trapezoidal blade and the square place the knife against it, score the surface very lightly, pick up the element and break it once towards me and once away from me. In result I have separated the element. I take the element and insert it in the long joint at an angle of approximately 30 degrees. Put slight pressure forwards and lay it down. The first element is already lying in place. I continue to lay the next panel in the second row. Once again angled at 30 degrees. Slight pressure forwards and go with the panel up to the last panel and set it down. After that I must lock the end with the white rubber hammer. As you can see it's a super simple installation process. Naturally, you ask why I continue to install on the second row. This gives us a major advantage. Thanks to our locking system, we can install our floor covering both forwards and backwards. You'll get the advantage that the right angle is already provided here. That is why the locking is very, very easy, as if I now wanted to position the panels 100% accurately here. Set at a 30 degree angle here once again, slight pressure, let it drop and lock the end edge with the rubber hammer. We now come to the case where we meet a wall at some point. Naturally, we have to cut the planks to size. I can do this using various methods depending on the installation technique. For those who are still not 100% sure, I take the folding ruler, measure from the end of the plank to the wall, and then deduct 5 mm from the result. The same thickness as the material so that I get the right gap to the wall. With the second option, it's important that I have groove to groove in this case and I place the panel tight against the wall. I then cut at the level of the groove on the previous panel. As the groove is approximately 5 mm long, this gives me the perfect gap to the wall. I score it once again, break it once away from me and rotate the panel. Set at an angle of 30 degrees again as with the previous panels, apply slight pressure forwards, lower it and then lock the panels with a white rubber hammer. Done. Now we have naturally come to the last row. As you can see, no full plank or panel will fit here anymore. We therefore have to cut this to fit. The whole thing is actually really easy. In this case we take the full plank, place it at an angle onto the previous row, then I use a panel as a ruler, 
because this is the so-called parallel cut, and place it too against the wall. At the same time, this ensures that I can span the gap from the plank to the wall. I take the trapezoidal knife again, simply cut along the plank with slight pressure, so that the plank doesn't move. Then I separate the plank, put the piece in place at a 30 degree angle, set it down and simply push the panel under. I already have the panel in place. I can now continue the whole process along the entire wall. As you can see, in this way a room is installed quite quickly thanks to our super locking technology of the click system on our Vineo 1000. It's naturally also possible to renovate an existing floor. That's also a very important benefit if, for example, you want to renovate your living room, then you can put the furniture on one side, start to install along one wall, move the furniture over and continue installing, and in this way the living room is installed quite quickly. Without dust, without noise, as you can see. We'll see each other again soon and have fun with Vineo.